I'll never, ever in my entire life ever see the appeal of somebody eating really, really high calorie foods and doing it on TikTok in a less than four minute video and then somehow people love it. People love it, people, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are a fair amount of people in the comment section telling this individual what they're doing is deplorable and it's despicable and whatever D word you wanna use that is also synonymous with those two words. It is most definitely for the kink content, probably, most likely, most, you know, let's be honest here for a second, dude, there are plenty of people out there that will, in fact, pleasure themselves to a woman with copious amounts of sauces on her fingers while she proceeds to eat a Chipotle burrito that's probably around 2,000 calories. Um, but she's free to do whatever she wants. I mean, it's beautiful that people nowadays can do this particular type of activity. But one thing I'll never understand is like, are you totally okay? Like, I really feel like these people should understand what they're doing to themselves. Do you understand that you're literally taking away years of your life for financial gain? And for some people, that might be okay. Like, we all do it to a certain degree, right? So, you know, eating fast food, for instance, you're getting short-term satisfaction for long-term defects. And the same thing could be said here, except you're doing it at a much more increased pace. Obviously, she's doing it almost every single day or every single day, if I'm being honest. And it's kind of like being an athlete. Like everybody knows if you're an athlete, you're sacrificing potentially these great years of your life for sport for potentially millions of dollars. And then later on in your life, if you end up like Ronnie Coleman, and you can't walk or maybe you slip a disc or four, that's going to be something you have to deal with. But as it is right now, you're earning millions of dollars. You're earning tons and tons of money. You're getting a lot of clout. It might be beneficial for you right now. But Oftentimes I see people look back at those times and they go, it wasn't worth it. But you know what, dude, if this is worth it for you and you're totally fine and you know that this is actually going to be hurting you later on in the future and it may seem like all fun and games now, like how can this food be hurting me? Bro, it's not good to be eating literally four, five, six, seven thousand 7,000 calories every single day and doing that for months or years straight. And keep in mind, this woman's only been doing this recently. It's been about, I don't know, three, four, five months since she's been doing this particular type of content. And the content before this was just workout videos, like wor videos where she would do like, you know, jumping jacks and dancing videos. And she was really lively and she was very, very good at it as well. But it wasn't getting the views that she wanted. It wasn't getting the money that she wanted. It wasn't giving her the clout that she wanted. So she needed to step it up. You know, not physically, obviously, but step up the content in a direction that would get her more views and all the other things that I listed for money, I guess, dude. It's tough that a lot of people do that, but you know what, dude? Make your own decisions, right? Do what you want. One thing I'll never get, though, is like the double bite, the two bite, taking a giant bite of the sand. Like, she literally maybe took like an eighth of that right here and then she proceeded to take another eighth with another bite her her mouth is already filled up to the pinnacle it's it's just like the noises i can't it's just for me personally i don't like them i just don't listen dude okay when you're in the moment and you are with your significant other and you hear noises, dude, it's okay to hear somebody go, I love this, it feels good. Maybe you hear something extra. You know, the, everybody talks about it as the macaroni and cheese sound women have. Men, for some reason, don't have sounds. I don't know, what do, what do guys have? Like, you know, rubbing your hand against a drywall or something like that? I don't know, us men don't have that. Most guys don't even know what lotion is. So we have that, I guess. I don't know, man, I, I kind of feel like women have like a, uh, they're like, they're, they, they just have the monopoly on the best sounding stuff. Even people that I've watched before have told me that women are better when it comes to making noises. Guys don't do shit. Like, have you ever noticed that when guys are in bed, sometimes you have to tell the guy to make, I mean, I don't know about this personally, but I've known a lot of men that have told me they, they're just quiet. They don't do anything. Like, if they're having sex with you, it's just, it's just this. For 45 minutes. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't like it. I want you to tell me you enjoy it. I am very, very vocal when it comes to any sexual activity. But when it comes to eating, I don't like the noises. I never did. And I know that there's a lot of like correlation there. I know a lot of people like to scissor the two to try to unite them. You know, a lot of people like to bring Sweet Baby Ray's. A lot of people like to bring the whipped cream into bed, whatever. But this just seems a little bit too far off the deep end for me personally. The mouth noises, the way she's eating it, how she's filling up her mouth, it's obviously for the fetish, but for me personally, dude, I, I can't find any enjoyment to this shit, bro. I, I would never be bricked up to this, not even in the slightest. Maybe you might be, but for me, I'm not saying you're a bad person either. If you're bricked up to this, 
That's okay. I mean, it's a little weird, but there are weird things that we get bricked up to, right? I remember one time I was 14 years old and I was in my science teacher science teacher's classroom. There was nothing going on. I was solidly bricked up for no reason. There was nothing going on, but I was bricked up looking at this science teacher who was 400 pounds. I don't know what was going on with me that day, but the point I'm making is we all have moments in our life that we're not the most proud of, and that's okay. But this right here, dude, this is deplorable. Dude, like, swallow, bro. I don't, just please, chew and swallow. By the way, she is getting inflated as this videos seem to show. As these videos go on, the more I see of this woman, she does get bigger and bigger by the day, it seems like. I mean, it only makes sense you're literally swallowing 10 plus thousand calories a day. And I, I see no reason to wipe your mouth. You might as, literally, I, I think it actually might, if your intention here is to brick up men so they can look at you with sexual desire in their mouth, and their eyes while they see you stuff in your face, don't wipe around your mouth. You're good. Just keep it the way it is, bro. Only trying to find I'm only trying to do it for you. Jeez, man. Oh my god. Got a burrito with that sauce, man. It's it's just so much, dude. I, I can you imagine this woman showing up to your restaurant and she orders more of the sauce than she does the actual food? Because most places will give you the sauce for free. God, bro, swallow, please, take your time, you're good, you're good, swallow, bro, please, don't take that extra bite right there, man, I don't, I don't like mukbangs, dude, I never will like mukbangs, the fact that she's also looking at me directly in my soul when she's doing this shit is oh my god uh terrible disgusting horrendous gross and absurd all of these things are occurring simultaneously dude i would i would rather lick the fingers of a black man after he just got finished beating off then watch this shit, bro it, it, this is undesirable for me man and she does it very consistently if you look on her if you look on her TikTok, dude, she's uploading many, many, many videos a day. I don't think she's to the same degree as Becky, but Becky's got a few years on her. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised in one year, two years, she apexes Becky, to be honest, in every way you think. Take a breath, man. Jeez, go for a walk. You're going to have to take a shower after this. What if there was something in this food that you didn't know was in that food? Like, you know, sometimes when you bite into something and there was something hard in it and you're just like, oh man, what is that, right? And maybe they fucked up. Maybe they left like a, I don't know, a bone or something in there, dude. She wouldn't even care, man. This is really the final boss of mukbangers. Somebody that just doesn't give a fuck. Will eat anything and everything on the plate, no matter what. And she will probably lick up that tray too. Oh, it's so much in the mouth. Dude, why are you smiling as well, man? You guys can't tell me that this isn't for fetish content. This is this is 100% for the appeasement of men, and I guess some women too. Let's be equal here. Let's show some feminism where we should, where we where we can. I guess. I mean, most of the time when people talk about feminism, they're talking about job equality. Maybe they're talking about representation in government but you know not many people talk about the representation in the mukbang community like there are plenty of women out there that are also beating off to watching many people eating high denominations of calories it's not just men men are not the only ones that are mentally dis disarranged when it comes to having porn addictions dude i mean i think porn is great it's fine i think if you want to beat off you can it does cause a little bit of problems depending on how far you go with it like if you're beating off to this this probably is a bad thing you've hit a pinnacle a point of no return if i'm being honest you gotta chill back you gotta chill back okay also i think this woman has gone too far too quickly i think that there needs to be a wind up right there needs to be like a slow and steady wins the race this woman literally just out the gate started eating some crazy ridiculously high, high calorie foods and the only way from this point that she can go any higher than eating whatever she's eating right now, because this woman's literally eating like, you know, the size of your head burritos. She's eating like two two pizzas at a time, you know, entire cheesecakes just for herself. I don't even know what you can eat. You would have to literally go to like 
an orphanage and just start eating the babies that are never going to be sold. Just start eating them. Just like literally sit there and just like munch down on baby feet because I don't know what else you can do at this point that would be like higher up. You know what I'm talking about? Like there needs to be like a wind up. You know, season one of any show is going to be boring in comparison to season 10, right? Like if you watch Supernatural, okay, I know it's a chick flick. I know a lot of people like it that are women. I like the show too. But anyway, season one, all they were doing is hunting like vampires and demons and shit then season like 12 they're like fighting god it's like the same thing there you can't fight god season one and what are you gonna fight at season like 12 i don't even know like the universe i guess which would technically be god so you gotta start off slow you gotta build it up you can't just start off doing this this is like oh this is already end game shit she's got the technique though i don't know how she's like not shaking right now man dude it's like there's no there's no swallowing involved i'm actually like you know how you see chickmunks just filling up their mouths with like copious amounts of nuts and you just wonder like how are you able to fit all that in there i'm thinking the same thing for this woman how is she able to eat as much as she is how is she able to fit as much as she is in her cheeks without swallowing that shit is crazy jeez man oh oh This is a speed run, dude. And it's not a speed run for the food. Oh my god. Dude, have you guys ever seen... Look, sometimes you'll see pelicans. And pelicans will eat literally everything. Okay? Anything and everything. I have saw probably in my life four, five, six videos of pelicans just eating pigeons out of nowhere. Like, pigeons don't even realize it. That there are enemies up front. And I've seen these pelicans walk up to pigeons. And pigeons just mind their own business. And just walk up and just gulp these things. And they'll go like this. Uh, 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 uh. because they tried to get the pigeon down to their mouth into their throat because the pigeon is still alive he's trying to move around and stuff like that and the the pelican he don't really care i don't even i don't think he understands that that's a real live thing and they're just sitting there just like this uh, 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 uh. that's what they're doing to try to get the food down and the fact that she's sitting there emulating that while eating a burrito is enlightening to me. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I mean, look at that face. Beautiful. Beautiful woman. Doing truly what God wanted you to do with your life. Damn. Damn. Just swallow it, dude. Come on. Speed run. Oh, yeah. The speed run, dude. She's doing a speed run on eating. You guys might be thinking she's doing a speed run on eating that burrito. She's doing a speed run on her life. The breathing too, like she's obviously stuffing her face so much that it's actually interfering with her, <laughs> her breathing functions, dude. Like the, the oxygen consumption in this room has got to be depleted after like 10 minutes. God damn. She is swallowing it. Oh my god, man. Who watches this? I mean, I guess with the exception of us, but we're cool. Oh. <laughs> she looked out the windows, heard the cicadas, and she was like, <laughs> dessert? Dessert? Is that dessert I hear? The cicadas singing? Wow. Dude, she opened her mouth with such ferocity. I'm actually surprised she had room for that last bite. Oh my god, bro, where'd you find this? Where did this even come from? Why do you have more? There's so... It's just like food just spawns for her for some reason. And keep in mind, this is a recent video. Three days ago. I don't even have to like scour through her TikTok to find like really crazy videos. No, she uploads them every day. And every single one, it's like a wah, you know, it's like it blows your mind. Why do you have to do it in under four minutes, though? I just don't understand. 
full Taco Bell mukbang, all under four minutes. Why does it have to be under four? You could have made it five. I, I'm sure people would have still watched it if it was under five minutes or six minutes. Like, I don't know if I could even eat half of that burrito. In all honesty, I don't even think I could do that if you gave me 30 minutes. I don't think I could do I mean, I probably could. I could probably, if you paid me enough money, if you'd be like, hey, David, I'll pay you $20 to eat this burrito in under 10 minutes, I could probably do it. But if I'm normally eating stuff like this, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to eat half of it. So I would probably just eat the half, leave it for later, and I probably wouldn't even finish it because it probably gave me indigestion. So I just leave it there, I guess. But for this woman to be speed running that shit under four minutes, like she sets these challenges for herself. And the fact that she was able to do the burrito in under four minutes, let alone, I think it was actually under three minutes because she went for the second dish is skill. It's skill. I'll give her that. It is skill. I can't say anything other than this. Look, I know a lot of people will look at this and go, mukbang should be illegal. Listen, cigarettes are not good for you. People smoke them. Uh, fast food is not good for you. People still eat it. There are plenty of things that I don't agree with that are not good for you, but I'm never going to tell somebody they shouldn't be able to do it because people have their own rights. People have their full bodily autonomy. There are plenty of things that I don't like that they're going to do, and that's fine. I want to have the option to do stuff as much as you, and I think that should be there. Obviously, fast food is not good for you for the most part, but it is what it is. Um, you know, people should have the right to choose, and the fact that she's choosing this is fine in my opinion like i'm always gonna die on that hill it's okay that she wants to do this it is obviously negatively affecting her i'm starting to see that gut get doubled up every single fucking video that she does but it's it's obviously not good and i don't condone this type of activity but i'll always say that it's okay you're smiling what are, you, what are you even smiling about dude like it's just like you're just filling your face in a quiet ass room with nemo behind you and dory is this nemo and dory behind you bro you don't feel bad at all knowing that you have these beautiful beautiful artistic drawings of nemo and dory behind you while you body slam literally like thousands of calories and by the way, I think using a metal fork actually might not be meta here, dude. Because, like, at the rate that she goes, as fast as she chews, I think that the metal fork actually might be a detriment. I think she might just have to use her fingers from now on or, like, maybe a plastic fork or something. Something that's going to be pre-edible because plastic is much easier to digest than metal. Damn, dude. It's wet. She got the highlight on the nose. Just got to top it off with that extra couple hundred calories of whatever this is, man. Uh, I'm guessing some kind of smoothie. It, it doesn't matter, honestly speaking. I mean, you thought it doesn't matter. Like, if you're eating 4,000 calories of Taco Bell, you might as well top it off with an extra 1,000 calories of a some kind of smoothie or some kind of, like, milkshake. It doesn't matter. It literally, you're eating 4,000 calories, whatever at that point. You know what I'm talking about? It's like somebody killing somebody. Like, you already killed somebody, you might as well kill 15 other people at that point. Like, you already committed, I guess. It's the same shit, I guess. I mean, I would never condone anybody doing that, but you know what I'm saying. Like, you, you're already going all the way. Nah, bro. And the drink, man. Six donuts, dude? Under four minutes? God, half a dozen donuts is kind of serious, bro. Because each one of those donuts is no joke, like 300 to 400 calories. I know the chocolate glazed alone is like 400. And eating six of them, if I'm being honest, okay? If I was really trying to embrace my full big backness, I could probably do two. Two donuts, maybe three if you really force me. Maybe three, maybe three. Them things is dense, especially the chocolate, dude. The chocolate donuts are really fucking dense, dude. Like, you put them in, they may be small, but when you put them in your mouth, you're chewing for a little bit. There are a lot of calories, man. Always, never water. Always gotta do the juice. Damn. Woo. It doesn't matter. Like, I know she took a bite out of it, and she was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It doesn't matter, dude. You're eating six of them. The, at, at some point, the first one, you might get some sensation of taste. You might have, like, some understanding of what this is. But if you're eating six of these things, the second one is going to be greatly deterred. Like, you're not going to, you're barely going to taste the second one. The third one, fifth one, the third one to the sixth one, you're not tasting anything. It's it's like you just beat off eight times. Like, after that second time, there's it's like nothing happens at that point. It's just like, <gasps> nothing happens, dude.
Alright, chew it. Yup. See, see what I'm talking about? Very dense. She's having a hard time. I can see it. Oh, man, dude. Like, I remember when I saw her videos earlier on in her TikTok career. She had these, right? You, see, you guys see these, like, the, these uh, joints or whatever you want to call these ligaments. I don't know what you want to call these. Bones? They're probably... I know they're not bones, but you know what I'm talking about. She has none of those now. Like, she used to be below a certain body fat percentage where you could see that. Her wrists got massive, dude. The midsection's gotten big. Her face is starting to inflate a little bit. And uh, as she's gone on, she's only gotten less and less attractive. She's gotten fatter and fatter. And that's really tough because she's doing this for the clout. She's doing it for the money. And I guess it's paying off because she's saying people are noticing her on public. Which could be a good thing and a bad thing. Like, if you're being noticed for this, I don't know. Like, what do people say about that? Like, oh, you're that one girl. Oh, you're that one girl on TikTok that eats, like, 8,000 calories, right? Yeah, you're her. Um, I think you got to stop. I think that's a really not good thing. So, here, by the way, if each one was really 300 calories each, which I'm not joking, this 300 calories is, like, really, really small. Um, If it was 3, 6, 9, 12... Even if it was light, even if it was light here, dude, we're literally talking about like what, 1,900 calories, 2,000 calories, 2,000 fucking calories just for the just for the six donuts alone. If you were being light, that is a conservative estimate. If I'm being honest, it's probably more close to 3,000. By the way, 3,000. If people don't know, the average woman needs about 2,000 so a day, a day, not meal a day so 2000 calories a day and she's literally busting that down in one sitting I, I i don't know what to tell you i don't know if she's gonna eat anything else for the rest of the day but given that her content is literally just this i wouldn't even be surprised if this was not the only thing she ate today she eats literally for a job so she's probably doing three four five more mukbangs today and as you can see, I'm an avid fan. I <laughs> I got this video 10 minutes, 10 minutes in as soon as it was uploaded, dude. I'm a fucking pro. What can I tell you? Bro? I'm, I'm deep in the lore of the jelly bean sweets. What do you think? What do you think happens when you go to your dentist and they're like, all right, Miss Jelly Beans, uh, we did the exam. What? <sighs> what? <sighs> but Miss Jelly Beans, it, it kind of seems like you got... 10 years of of dental of you got your, your your teeth aged 10 years in a matter of six months what what happened what have you been chewing on rocks how did this even ha how did you get like this you have 15 cavities on one tooth not even to mention the other like 14 of them oh my god or what have you been doing how did this even happen and then she just pulls up her tiktok and she's like yeah look at this and you're just like, oh my god, oh my, six donuts in one, in four minutes? Oh my god! That's, that, that's what I would have if I was her dentist. That's what I would be saying. Jeez. Is that a Boston cream? Yeah, that's a Boston cream pie right there, dude. Never buy the Boston cream. No, is it a Boston cream pie? No, it has chocolate on top. Don't buy the Boston cream pies. Speaking as a man that, that grew up in Boston, dude, a guy that grew up in South Boston... I'm going to let you guys know something right now. The Boston cream pies ain't where it's at, okay? Go to Dunkin' Donuts. This is what you're going to get, okay? Get a glazed. Either get a glazed, get a lemon, or get a chocolate glaze. That's it. That's all you need, okay? If you're ever getting a donut, get those. I wouldn't even recommend getting any of those, but if I was to recommend one, I'd get the chocolate glazed. They never fuck them up. Granted, um, they're not good. They're never fresh. They're never fresh. You're probably going to get a couple spider eggs on them. You might get a little bit of extra... Uh, let's be honest here, dude. I've never been to a Dunkin' Donuts that didn't have a, a Puerto Rican behind the counter that didn't have gloves on. It, they never have gloves. And they never do, and they don't care either. And they know you. They know that they're supposed to be wearing gloves. They don't care. Uh, you go up there and be like, yo, let me get a donut. They'd be like, yeah, hold up. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, all right, which one you want now? That's You might as well. You might as well. But at that point, you're getting the authentic donut experience. If, if the Puerto Rican guy starts licking his fingers and then touches your food... It's the authentic, it's the authentic uh, Bostonian experience. Don't feel like that's bad. That's okay. That's fine. That's completely okay. Dry as fuck, bro. And she's not even drinking water to top that shit off. Can you imagine walking into a Dunkin' Donuts and you're like, yeah, let me get six donuts. And they're like, yeah, you for you and your family, huh? How many people? How many people? It's a party, huh? It's a party. Your little sister, maybe? Your little cousin, huh? For a party? And then she goes, for me. 
from me, from my mouth, from my mouth, only my mouth. And the guy back, uh, for you, just for you, are you sure? Like, you know, this is six donuts, right? This is enough to fill up three, four people. Uh, uh, are you sure? This just for you? Oh, oh, I guess. Okay. That's what I would be saying, man. Unstoppable, dude. Final boss of mukbangs right here. Never stop it, dude. Don't even swallow. We don't need to swallow. Here we go, right here. Damn. And it's the cream filling. Dude, these cream filling ones are the ones that are really high in calories. I wouldn't even be surprised if this was like 500 calories by itself. I mean, you're literally getting the donut and you're filling it up with the cream on the inside. Bro, she's struggling, dude. Donuts are really dense. She did it, though. Damn, man, you're licking your fingers? Dude, drink. Take a sip of something. The glazed is probably the best. Oh, you peep the technique. You peep the technique, dude. Well, look, that's how you know we're not eating for the for the for the goodness of it. Okay, we're not eating because it tastes good. She literally folded it to compress it to eat more. If that makes any sense, to fill up less space in her mouth. I used to do that a lot when I was a kid. I used to get the loaf of bread, right? I would take off the the brims. You know, what I'm talking about the crustaceans, and I would just roll it up into a ball, and I just take a bite. I would get like 900 calories off one bite, dude. No joke. The same thing here. You take the you take the donut, you you flatten it, and just take a bite, dude. You you eating literally double as fast for the same calories. The technique is crazy. She she took half it in one bite. I mean that's that's technique right there. I'll give her that. Damn, three bite in a fucking. Th to three bite a uh, uh, glaze like that? I mean, listen, dude. Um, That's one hell of a woman right here. That's that's one hell of a woman. I know some people that pay top dollar for this. Damn. That's, that's some world record shit right there, dude. Didn't even try either. Jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Calm down. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. Oh my god. Do you have people in your life that care about you? Do, does your family watch your videos? Do they know about what you're doing in your room by yourself? It'd be one thing. If your mom walked into your room and she saw you beaten off. You know, ah, it makes sense, right? Ah, you know, I, you get the sensations, right? We've all been there. You know, you, it's late one night. You're sitting in your bed. You're like, damn, I gotta just, I gotta strangle my shit, right? But it'd be another thing to have your mom walk in and you're sitting down recording a video of you eating six donuts. Six? That's gotta be harder to explain than you watching gay porn. That's gotta be way harder to explain. No, wait. If your mom came in and was like, why are you watching gay porn and your meat was out? Just go, I'm gay. I, you know, like, what are you talking, I'm You, what are you thinking? Like, what are you fucking... The last girl I dated was named Helga. You know what I'm talking about, dude? And fucking, that, that, that was a man. That was a full, I suck dick. Like, that would be an easier than you're going, I don't, like, I don't even know what you would even say here. Like, I have a, I have millions of people on my TikTok that watch me eat literally thousands of calories every single day. And most of them are eating, most of them are watching me to beat themselves off. And, uh, you know, I'm doing this because I get a lot of money from it. Like, you see how what I'm talking about, dude? Your mom comes in, sees you watching gay porn. You just say you're gay. For this... You gotta go on like a. You better go on like Chat GBT and tell them to write out a whole synopsis, a, a paragraphs worth of uh, ideas and how to di how to how to dismantle why your mom is thinking like this. I'm just sad, dude. Like, this is the American dream, dude. This is what all these uh, Americans fought and died for. This is what we had a civil war for. I mean, as much as you guys want to say, um, listen, dude. Uh, if you're a veteran or you're somebody that fought for our country and you look at this content and you're going, this is not what I fought for. This is, this is what you fought for. This is what you fought for, okay? It's okay to admit that. It's fine. It's all right, dude. It is what it is. Um, for the freedom to make your own decisions, right? Uh, granted, it's not the best decisions. But, uh, uh, what do you want? What do you want? 
You you don't think her ancestors are looking down at her, going like this? They're doing that daily. Every single time they see her eating this shit, they're going like, bro, this woman is literally eating more food than, like, this one sitting. Her ancestors didn't even eat as much food in their life compared to the amount of calories that she's consuming right now on camera right now. She's swallowing that shit, bro. That's good. I mean, I'm... I will, I will give her that. She's committed. I mean, if I was her, dude, if I'm being honest, if I was in the same shoes, dude, if I was a person that was doing this particular type of content, dude, I'd be opening up OnlyFans, dude. I'd be doing crazy shit, bro. Corn on the cob. Uh, I would be throwing in hot dogs in places, right? Fuck it. I mean, what? I'm going to get it like five UTIs? Whatever, bro. I'm going to go back... I'm gonna come into the fucking, I'm gonna come into the ER daily and be like, yo, I need that antibiotics, bro. I did it again. My bad. What'd you do this time? I put four donuts in my vagina again. My bad. Oh, oh, you got me. You got me, dude. I'd be putting donuts in there, dude. I'd be putting, you know, whipped cream on my nipples and stuff. If I was a woman, of course. If I was a man, I'm limited. I can't just be, well, I guess if you're a man, you could probably put some shit in your ass. But I don't think that being the heterosexual man such as myself, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of scared of what my ass might feel if I did inject myself. So I would never, I would never do that. So I've never put myself in a position to where I might enjoy something like that, if that makes any sense. I'm scared that I might enjoy it. And then I might be gay. Like, who, who knows? There are plenty of gay men out there that are not gay, but they don't know that because they have never unlocked the Pandora's box that is their butt cheeks. Because they're virgins. I'm a virgin. I'm tight as fuck, dude. Trust me on that. If you were to ever take advantage of me and you thought you was going to have an easy time, <laughs> nah, dude. Um, It's going to be tough. I clench. It's going to be real difficult for you to do anything at all. That might actually be a benefit to you, to be honest. Like, I might actually be making it better for you because I'm super tight. I might, you know what I'm talking about? I don't even know. Whatever we're talking about, dude. I just realized that corn is a vegetable. That's not going to happen. My bad. It's not as good. It's the plain one, yeah. Yeah, it's the plain one, dude. It's not going to be the best. There's nothing on it. I mean, it's just a, it's just a regular donut. Oh, she didn't like it because it was plain? Oh, she... Those are the most dense. The plain ones are the... Those are the driest ones, too. You take a bite of that shit, you just... <coughs> you got sucked down that lake. Damn, she killing it. Damn, she killing that shit. Oh, shit. She killed that... She killed the large... Oh shit, she killed a large. Oh damn. Come with me and my sister to get oh Cheesecake God. Factory for the first time ever. But not the last time, dude. Damn, man. I gotta keep it a buck with you guys. I gotta keep it a buck, man. We've been really catering to our mouth too much, I feel like. Alright, Jelly Bean. We've been taking care of our mouth way too much. We've been taking care of our stomach way too much. I think it's time to take care of our hair. I think it's time to stop... I don't know what the heat damage look like on this shit. I don't know why it's so goddamn dry. I don't even know what the fuck you're doing. Do you just not take care of that shit? What are you, wa what are you washing that shit with? Gravel? Hey, bro, come on. Take some time. Find out what's good for your hair. You, you know, you're not black. It's going to be a little bit easier for most. Uh, it shouldn't be... Why you... You know, do whatever you want, bro. But that's just dry. That shit's real fucking dry, bro. Let me just say, they had so many options, it was like hard to choose which things we wanted to get. Which I I disagree with, dude. I think if you're gonna be a restaurant, dude, just really perfect good good stuff, dude. I don't want like 40 options. Give me, give me 10 options. Give me 10 fucking options. I don't need 40. 40 is like overwhelming, but you know what I'm buying every single time I go to a restaurant. I'm getting a burger and fry. That's the default, dude. I don't know what the fuck, like, what are you getting? Pesto? Shut the fuck out of here, bro. Shut the fuck up. You're getting a burger and fry. Don't act like yeah. you're not. But of course, I got a Dr. Pepper. And then we had to get the like viral mac and cheese balls that we've been seeing all over TikTok. And it's not even good. That's just dry as fuck. Damn, they didn't even do you right with that shit either. That's just crazy as fuck. And they put the sauce in the bottom and you're holding the sauce on your fucking fingers right now. Gross. Just absolutely fucking gross, bro. It, this is always sad to me when people buy into the the viral trends of eating food or whatever. Or like, you remember when people were sucking toilet bowls because it was a viral trend? I just want to know, right? I just want to know, like, these people seem like they're really fucking stupid, right, if I'm being honest with you. I just want to know. You know when sometimes when people take apart the Oreo 
and they take the two parts and one part has like the cream on the side one part is the the, the non-cream on the side um i just want to know what side of the tide pod you guys what, what side of the tide pod these people eat first because like i would love to know which part is more desirable is it the blue side is it the green side which side is it what side is really that good bro they were so good and they were so cheesy they definitely lived up to that that's an appetizer by the way and those are probably like literally 300 calories each i'm not even joking what you do that's just literally calorie dense as fuck forehead big bro that's just big that's a big forehead right there Woo! damn jojo see what 2.0 right there that's your sister bro your sister look middle eastern are you sure you mean like a sister or do you mean like a sister like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and then for my entree, I got these entree. Entree? What? What do you mean entree? Fried fish tacos. They were like little finger tacos. They were so good. You so you got an appetizer and you got an entree? You don't just order the food? They even had like some avocado in this. How much are you sauce? spending? I don't really know what it was. How, how much are you spending at the cheesecake factory? You don't feel bad knowing that you spent like 150 at the cheesecake factory. Yes, but it tasted good, and it came with buttered rice and. Bro, I, these food reviewers are doing the least amount of work, bro. It tasted good. There needs to be effort. That's all I'm gonna say. There needs to be effort. Tell me about the consistency. Tell me about. Well, how, how timely it was to bring out the food. Tell me about the consistency, the, the flavor, the texture, how, how you got it in your mouth, how many bites you can take before it's done. You're not telling me shit. You just, oh, tasted good. All right, I guess, bro. I mean, whatever, man. Black beans. The fish tacos were obviously my favorite part. Oh, my God. It's all over your mouth. It is. I just like right side of the Good. That's good. And then my sister got this lemon herb salmon on top of mashed potatoes. You ate some of your you ate some of your sister's food too? God damn, bro. You can't even stay on your own plate. You got Did you eat some of the guy next to you's food too? Asparagus. She gave me the first bite of the salmon. It was so good. Oh, you got bread too, man. Like what you just tell him to bring you the whole thing, like everything? But it was also so hot. Is it good? <laughs> that was a big ass bite too. And then of course we had to get some cheesecake. This was their very cherry Ghirardelli chocolate. And let me just say, this was why probably- do you get to have, Why do you get to have the first bite? Like, how come I can't have the first bite? You've been eating too much already. You're good. You don't need to be eating any more than what you already do. And you know what? You already eat too much. Let me get the first bite. You already going too far. The best cheesecake I've ever had. And she going for the second. Look at her. Look at her talking about some, oh yeah, that shit's good. Trying to poke her fork back in it. Dude, let your sister have some of that shit too. <laughs> Oh, really she going for the second bite. You got the second bite, dude. I didn't even get my first one yet. You want two. It's unfair. Mm. Fat as fuck. Oh, Fat as fuck, so dude. Much. Oh, it's so good. Look at fucking oh. sister's under so much stress because she doesn't. She, she's like, oh, I got to eat this shit quick before I'm fucking. What's her name? J Jelly bean over here. Body slammed half of it already. I got to hurry up and see if I can get one bite. Stress the fuck out. Also, shout out to our waitress, Rosie. She recognized me from TikTok, and That's not she good. was the sweetest person. How does she recognize you from TikTok? You're like, hey, aren't you that one girl that eat a lot of food on TikTok? Oh, which one? Like, out of the 50 million of them? Oh, we definitely could eat two, You're telling me. We could have, yeah. Damn, clean that shit, bro. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet Jelly Bean was the one that body slammed that shit? I mean, she's literally sucking down the plate at this point. Look at her scraping up the residue on the plate as if she didn't just eat breadstick she had the fucking the macaroni and cheese balls coated in cheese sauce and you know, with the with, with the sauce on the bottom and then she had her entree she had some of her sister's entree the guy next to her i don't even know if the waitress is still alive anymore with all the amount of work she had to do bringing out all these food choices things up hot honey chicken tenders look at those it's a chicken tender i don't know what to say about chicken tenders dude like just go to go to go to your local stop and shop and run in there, go to the frozen food section. It's in the back, the red bags, all right? And just buy like a bag of chicken tenders for 10 bills, 10 bills, maybe 11 bills, depending on where you get them. And then go to the, go go a little bit in the middle of the aisle, you'll find frozen french fries. Those are about the big bags, 10 bucks, 20 bucks in total. That's gonna last you probably, if I'm being honest with you, if you're just eating by yourself, four or five times you can eat that shit four or five times if you wanted to bro and you got way more food it's gonna be way cheaper i mean this meal alone probably cost you 20 bucks you're doing yourself a disservice but i guess it really doesn't matter since you're literally sitting here probably caked up on all that food all, all the money that you're making from this shit so they look so good then we got some 
Cajun corn with some Parmesan seasoning on them. And then we got some Cajun seasoned. Burnt as fuck. Cooked OD. Fried. Left them in the air fryer for too long. Damn. Mm. Sometimes I think like when I watch her eat, I'm like, do I have this on 1.5 speed? And then I look and I'm like, no, nah, it's just how she eats. She's just eating that shit crazy fast. Like she had never eaten before. And then we also got three ranches. Three ranches, huh? Oh, big, oh, big as fuck. We got the Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I, my iconic. I don't even know why you even got the diet one. This shit is literally probably like 2,000 calories. You might as well just add that extra three, 400 on top. Why does it matter? Small ass straw. Slurp at the beginning. <laughs> I've seen some of you guys recreate, recreate it and it, it's hilarious. So refreshing. Sometimes it makes my eyes water. I'm not gonna lie whenever I do that. That's the diabetes starting to cry. That's the diabetes, man. Like right now. <laughs> Damn, that ranch but is big, bro. One of the ranches here. Oh, you can't really see it. Yum. Okay, I'm going for a chicken tender here. Oh, oh, oh. So crunchy. Dude, where is I the microphone that I can hear all these mouth noises like that, bro? I can like literally hear your trachea suffocating with the sheer amount of mass that's just being under. Got them well done. No, I think they're actually well done this time. <laughs> mm. I posted the um, vlog from this weekend um, on here. And it's doing so well. I didn't know if it would do well or not. But I had fun making it too. Just and do that. Just uh, just do vlogs, man. We don't need to eat. We don't need to be eating like this, right? Like, we just do vlogs. Just tell us about how great your day was and, like, what you did in that day. It doesn't even have to be really anything at all. Like, you can literally just be like, a, oh, yeah, guys, guess what? Today... Guys, it was guess guess what? It was so great today. I had such an amazing day. I went to McDonald's and I didn't get anything at all, but I just tempted myself. I'm like Gandhi. You know how Gandhi was just in bed for 24 hours a day with like naked women around him all the time so he can torture himself to ensure that he didn't breed into his urges of having sexual intercourse with tons and tons of women. He did do that, by the way. Yes, he did do that. He was literally in bed with like four or five different women at any given point in time to, to to try to beat out the urges. I don't know exactly, bro, but I, I guess he did it. Whatever. A lot of people look at Gandhi as like a cool guy. He was a deviant, okay? He was a fucking deviant, okay, dude? But anyway. Yeah, guys, so it was really, really great. I came home. I walked 25 minutes. I walked a total of a mile probably. It was raining out. It was an amazing day. My feet got wet, but I was wearing these cool socks. And by the way, is there no better sensation than having fresh socks? It is the most beautiful... Fresh, brand new socks. If I had the option, every day of my life, I would put on a new pair of socks. There's nothing better than feeling that sensation of that new pair of socks hitting your toe and then have it shuffle up to your ankle. It's just, oh man, Ooh, it just feels good, doesn't it? It just feels good. It'd be easy to do vlogs, okay? You could do it. You could literally just talk about anything at all. And if people like it, they like it. So I think she should probably just do that instead of eating. Sister, like I'm taking videos she was trying to like help me out and it worked because i could get like different angles because as you can tell i was recording with the um ray band meta glasses which are awesome by the way like the quality is why is she breathing so hard why, why is she breathing so hard in between these sentences like that dude like her respiratory her respiratory functions are like almost depleted better than my iphone which is crazy i should just let me stop iphone suck but i'm so excited because when I go to Taiwan, those will be like a weekly, maybe maybe daily thing where I do like... Why are you going to Taiwan, dude? What are you just going to eat like tons and tons of like Chinese food over there in Taiwan? I don't know, man. What do you... Why, why do people just travel places, man? I just... I never understood that. Like, I understand you want to see like a new place and you want to like experience new stuff. But for me, I, I just never understood. Like, people go like, oh man, I'm going to travel to Taiwan. And I'm like, why? They're like, oh, it's just new. It's a new place. I'm like, aren't you in debt? They're like, oh, just a little bit of debt. It's only 100 k what are you doing? Why are you fucking taking out debt to take out debt to, 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 to get more debt to travel somewhere, dude? Get your shit in order first, right? Vlogs for you guys. You all seem to really enjoy it. So I think it'll be, it'll be some good videos in Taiwan. Oh, the corn. Try out the ranch. With the corn. Eat mm. the bone too. Damn. 
Damn, man, the noises, dude. Ooh. Corn is so good. You should eat it all the time then. Not this particular type of corn, but just corn in general. Why don't you just eat corn all the time? I remember the first time I tried it, it what? wasn't my favorite, honestly. What do you mean the first time you tried it? Isn't corn like a default in mostly everybody's diet? Like, didn't you eat corn when you were like literally three or something like that? What do you mean you remember when you tried it? I don't remember when I tried corn. I'm pretty sure I tried corn when I was like two or something like that. What are you talking about? What do you mean I remember when, when, you, when you tried corn when you were like 14 or like yesterday? What do you mean? And by the way, if you didn't like corn when you first tried it, but you like it now, that's because it's coated in ranch. That's because it's been cooked in sugar and carbs and fat. So that's the reason. It's not that you didn't, it's not that the corn is different, right? The, the way they made this corn, it's no longer corn. This is like some other shit. This is like some forbidden fruit. It'd be like somebody saying like, oh man, I really like this apple but the apple is like coated in like you know the fucking sweet apples that they dip in caramel and sugar and they have a whole bunch of shit on the outside you don't like apples you just like caramel keep it a buck but it's grown on me since then you're not even really eating corn like you should feel ashamed of yourself this is not corn okay that's like saying those french fries are potatoes like they are potatoes but let's be honest here for a second nobody would ever say they're potatoes all right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. I want to thank everybody that's a subscriber and or a member of the channel. You guys are all amazing, beautiful, spectacular specimens. I'm almost 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I am almost there. I don't know what we're going to do for the 10,000 subscriber special, but it's going to have to be large. It's going to have to be big, big. It's going to have to be massive. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys for helping me get to this milestone. It truly is uh, beautiful. Thank you so much, every single buddy. You guys are all amazing people. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in chocolate, like that one scene from SpongeBob. I don't know if you guys remember that one scene, but everybody knows what I'm talking about where the lady was like, chocolate, chocolate. That one right there, that's a beautiful scene. Um, leave it down below by typing in chocolate. And uh, I want to remind you of how much of a beautiful specimen you are today. You're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. You're making sure you're taking care of yourself. You're lubricating your insides of your body through the process of hydration, liquidization, um, coating your food in good condiments that are low calorie, ensuring that you are eating less than what you need, uh, if you need to lose weight, that is, and you're eating what you need in order to survive. And that's amazing things. I'm, I'm so proud of you. You're so amazing. You're so delectable. I love you. Anyway. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.